In April 1833, Emily Dickinson's beloved Aunt Lavinia Norcross took her two-year-old niece from Amherst to Munson, Massachusetts, 20 miles away. On the trip, they encountered a fierce thunderstorm. Emily called the lightning, the fire, and hid under her aunt's cloak. From Munson, Lavinia wrote Emily's father, Edward, she is a very good child and but little trouble. She has learned to play on the piano. She calls it the music. Lightning and tune, Emily's bolts of melody played in her young mind. All her life, music was important to Emily Dickinson. The music of the natural world, the concerts she attended, her piano and singing lessons, her lively musical evenings with her family and friends, the hymns, popular songs and ballads she heard and sang, and the titanic operas of her poetry. I would not paint a picture. I'd rather be the one its bright impossibility to dwell delicious on and wonder how the fingers feel whose rare celestial stir evokes so sweet a torment, such sumptuous despair. I would not talk like cornets. I'd rather be the one raised softly to the ceilings and out and easy on through villages of ether, myself endued balloon by but a lip of metal, the peer to my pontoon. Nor would I be a poet, its finer own the ear, enamored, impotent, content, the license to revere, a privilege so awful, what would the dower be, had I the art to stun myself with bolts of melody? <laughs>